No, fully raw Christina. 21 hours ago. Jesus Christ, the vegans, they're stepping up the game. Let's watch fully raw Christina. Let's do this. Ah. Ah. Stop it. Jesus. What up, my beautiful friends? It's Christina, and I'm so happy to be back with you today for a new sure. What I Ate Today video. Yes. It's been a while since I've made a What I Ate Today video, and I'm excited to share with you not only some delicious raw vegan recipes for you to try and some ideas, but also some recent updates and changes in my routine recently that have completely improved how I feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, vegans always have to change everything up and make improvements, right, in their fields. These are just simple day-to-day -day things that I've done that have improved my physique, my sleep, my digestion, and more. And I'm just, it's just the little things, you know? It's just the little things. It's she looks absolutely anorexic. This video was sponsored by Four Sigmatic, so I want to send a special thank you to them. Every vegan is sponsored by Four Sigmatic. Um, and for all of my mushroom lovers out there, I've got some special treats. I'm a mushroom lover, but I do not buy Four Sigmatic. For you in this video. So let's get this day started. I'm ready to start making some food and get into my day. Are you ready to rock? Don't call it food. Rock and roll. Let's go. Some things have changed. Super cringy. Changed recently for me, and I'm feeling better than I ever have physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. The first thing that I've been doing emotionally and spiritually <laughs> consistently every single day as of recent is hot yoga at 8.30 in the morning every single day. <laughs> I have been very consistent <laughs> with this and I just love my yoga practice. I love the sweating, the breathing, the moving. And I've been combining my hot yoga with HIIT training three to four times. Nothing wrong with yoga. A week. My body has started to get toned and lean. Before this, I was a long distance runner. And after a while, I stopped seeing results. No. Another thing that I have been doing as a... Every vegan stops seeing results. And now you don't see any results. But now you're just shedding off body fat again. You don't have any musculature improvement. Recent is intermittent fasting, and I really love it. My hours of eating have been... Vegans love intermittent fasting because they're eating less of those anti-nutrient-laden foods and less of the fiber that bloats them that much. This is why they love it. From between 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'm not eating past 7 p.m. If anything, I'll just have some tea. I'm still eating the same amount of food and my diet has not changed. I've just moved around my eating times a little bit. I've also really been focusing on getting better, deeper sleep. This has been challenging for me with all of my traveling, but can How do you focus on getting better, deeper sleep? Considering I basically went 11 years on three to five hours of sleep each night, I'm currently winning on- 11 years, three to five hours of sleep. And she doesn't understand that that could could possibly have to do with the diet. You're running on adrenaline, on sugar. That's why you cannot sleep. Seven to eight hours right now. And, eight and meanwhile, just uh, something I have to add to this. So you haven't been sleeping longer than three to what? Four or five hours for the last 11 years. So as a raw vegan. And you don't feel that this is something that you should share with your viewers, right? You are pretending to be healthy, vibrant, right? The epitome of health, raw veganism. And you do not tell your viewers that you cannot sleep. How is that healthy? If you cannot sleep at least six hours, you are starving. That's why you wake up. Jesus. It makes a huge difference in how I feel. I believe I had massive adrenal fatigue at one point and I'm working oh, really? to rebuild and restore. Uh -huh. Even though my physique has changed lately, I want to make a point that my diet hasn't changed at all. I'm still fully raw vegan, 14 years, no deprivation. I'm still doing green juices. <laughs> That's an oxymoron. I'm raw vegan, 14 years, no deprivation. <laughs> sure. But she didn't go into how she fixed her sleep. What did you do? You don't say what you did and then you insist that you didn't change your diet. 
Sorry, Christina, I don't buy it, right? We know many fully raw and regular vegans that are not vegan, that pretend to be vegan. We know all about it. Stop lying to your viewers. To smoothies, fruits, giant salads, basically everything Disgusting. on my app every day. I'm oh yeah, basically everything on your app. Sure. So download that app and get right into it. Get healthy like Christina. Arriving more than I believe I ever have. And it just shows that tiny changes can make a huge difference. What is the change? You don't have to give up what you love to see results. I hope me sharing these tiny things with you can be helpful. That's super cringy. Uh, look at my tits, guys. Uh, look at me doing downward facing dogs. Helpful for you in some way because they have made a profound impact uh, stop it. on how I... I don't want to see your sweaty arms. It's disgusting. I feel. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I typically start my days off with green juice. It's my favorite way to get my... Yeah, that's what you do when you drink oxalate juice. You start dancing, of course. Day going, so many minerals and nutrients Cringe. in this delicious savory juice, and Cringe. I love it. So I'm making 32 ounces of green juice right now, and I'm Fuck starting off by adding... Super toxic. What is this shit? Ginger, celery stalks, oxalate. Oh, what the Into my juicer, approximately two peeled limes, one ginger, one large thumb of turmeric, turmeric, one large thumb of ginger, yes, one cucumber, three to four leaves of romaine lettuce, four to five leaves of kale chopped, Why? one large head of parsley. But honestly, has anybody ever asked themselves why would you juice kale? Honestly, no. No hate, really. Why would you juice kale? It doesn't make sense, right? There's nothing in it that you would need in a juiced form. Not at all. If you want to juice cucumbers, for example, okay, you could use that as hydration. I get it. No worries. I drink cucumber juice sometimes. Nothing wrong with it. However, what you're doing there, what is the benefit? And why do you tell people that you will get nutrition out of this? It's a lie. Sleet or cilantro and one head of celery. I'll run my green juice through a strainer so that it's super smooth and I will pour it into my jar. And from this point... My jar! Yeah, aside from that, this is at least $20 of green juice. So who can afford that shit? You can take your green juice anywhere. You can drink it in front of your laptop while you're answering emails. You can take it to a workout class, whatever. I tend to drink my green juice right then and there. You can sip it throughout the day and even drink some before dinner. It's always nice just to have a delicious green juice in your diet on a daily. I recently did a... But why? Why? Just tell me why. Tell me why. One green juice a day challenge on my fully raw recipe app. So for those of you who are looking for some green juice recipes, I have tons of them. And I even <laughs> have this challenge on my app that you can download by clicking this? on the what link in the this? description below. It's pretty fake smile, fake, ah, disgusting woman. Fun. Clearly, I'm still doing this and having a great time with it and seeing great results. Stop so I highly recommend shaking your hips. It's repulsive. Recommend one green juice a day. <laughs> for my second meal today, aka Don't kiss me. A lunch, I'm going to be sharing an ice cream smoothie bowl. It's kind of like a smoothie bowl. But yeah, more sugar. What is that? Nothing. Just more sugar. Uh, without her naming it, I can already see it. It's cacao nips. So, great. Neurotoxin. What is this? Goji berries, some sort of berries, blueberries, strawberries, just a berry smoothie. Just sugar. But it tastes like ice cream and it's good for your body, the animals, and the planet. So, I like to call it a nice cream bowl. Why is it good for my body if it's just sugar? Why is it good for the planet? Why is it? Why do you simply repeat to those old vegan slurs? Why is this good for the planet? And by, honestly, by absolute basic instinct, everybody that sees this smoothie bowl, you know for a fact that you don't want to eat those little green leaves there. You want to get rid of them. 1000%. Everybody hates that shit part of the strawberry. And it is delectable. Now I'm going to be doing something a little bit different in today's smoothie bowl. Typically I only use like two or three ingredients. However, <clears throat> Sigmatic has some pretty cool... Yeah, however, today I'm going to give you the full package of advertisement. Today I'm going to give you four Sigmatic adaptogen blend mix. <laughs> ...new superfoods and proteins that they have just sure, introduced. Sure. And I'm really excited to give them a try. Absolutely. For those of you who don't know Four Sigmatic, they are a mushroom and superfood company who create all organic, vegan, gluten-free and... Yeah, those guys are geniuses because they're catering to those deficient vegans that will gulp down anything that will make them feel something. Instant products that you can add to any smoothie, drink, or tea. And after having researched the benefits of consuming mushrooms like reishi, chaga, cordyceps, and lion's mane, I'm convinced that including... Is it raw though? Is it raw though? 
putting these into your diet. 100% those mushrooms are not raw. No chance. No chance in hell. Not that I have any issues with that. However, just saying, it's not fully raw. No chance in hell are those mushrooms raw. Minimum of two to three times a week is a great idea. So Four Sigmatic has just come out with some really cool new stuff. One of them being their superfood protein that I'm excited to try. It also comes with adaptogens that apparently rebuild and repair muscle easily and help to restore overall wellness. Most proteins contain gums, fillers, artificial sweeteners, etc. And this one does not contain any of it. It's organic, it's vegan, and it's also not flavored. So I'm interested to see how... So this one doesn't contain any isolates, you want to tell me? Okay, guys, so it's really, really hard to stream when I go above 240p, which is absolutely laughable. However, I'm just going to put this onto 720 real quick. Oh, that's much better. And I will check the ingredients list. Okay, so what do we got? We got organic pea protein powder from the seed. Okay, we got organic hemp protein powder from the seed. We got chia seeds. We got pumpkin seeds. Okay, coconut powder, fruit, whatever. Ashwagandha, mm -hmm. stimulants. What else? I don't even know. I can't pronounce this. Eluatrento. We have cordyceps mushrooms. Yeah, all the lion's mane, so on and so forth. Okay, so we have mushrooms as some sort of stimulant, if you will, and paired with a lot of seed protein. So that is pretty much the worst shit that you can eat. It is really the case. So should I give an explanation? Because nature did not intend for you to eat her seeds. That's not what nature wants. Nature wants you to eat your species-specific diet, right? Which would be obviously meats. Every time you eat seeds, you're killing life from the get-go. That's not what nature wants. Vegans don't understand that. So therefore, they're trying to strip away all the anti-nutrients as good as they can and then isolate those proteins and give you their sludge and sell it for horrendous prices that's what they do all this goes this mushroom protein powder includes cordyceps lion's mane chaga turkey tail reishi yeah, yeah, yeah. and mushroom blend mix for those of you who feel like you need an extra pep in your step this smoothie should do the trick so let's get started on this smoothie for the ingredients i'm going to be using approximately step. four to five jesus christ Okay, so pep in your step, some sort of stimulant again. What are we doing now? What is this? That's what you're going to drink now? What is this, like 20 bananas? Let me rewind so I can hear it. Need an extra pep in your step. This smoothie should do the trick. So let's get started on this smoothie. For the ingredients, I'm going to be using approximately four to five ripe, peeled, and frozen bananas. One large cup of... Five bananas, approximately 20 grams of sugar per banana. 100 grams. Congratulations. Good idea. Coconut water. You can add any kind of frozen Coconut fruit into this water, that you like. Around about the cup there again, so additional 20 cups, at least 120 grams of sugar. Add in approximately one cup of your preference. And then I'm going to add in one scoop of the force. that? Beetroot? Anyways, 140 cups. Matic superfood protein repair with mushrooms. Protein and the mushrooms. Again, seeds. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of the adaptive blend mix, one teaspoon of the superfood blends. Talk about a superfood protein pack lunch. This is definitely it. Blend no, that is not superfood lunch. Superfood lunch would be a fat, juicy steaks with maybe some chicken liver or some beef liver, some salmon roll, some sashimi. That would be amazing. However, what you are choosing here is just a bowl of sugar with mushroom extracts. It's not a superfood you're still lacking crucial nutrients and vitamins in that thing. It's by no means complete. And this until it becomes completely smooth. The more coconut water that you Yeah, completely smooth, so you get less digestive issues. And of course, you don't want to eat that shit. Nobody does. You add here, the more of a smoothie it will be, and the less coconut water that you add here, the more ice creamy it will be. It'll be thicker. Pour this into any bowl of your choice and you can add on toppings like You are anemic and this is why you're craving ice cream. Like sweet cacao nibs, some shredded coconut, extra berries, whatever makes you happy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my nice Whatever cream. sugar content makes you happy, you want to say. Smoothie bowl for lunch. If you're interested in getting any of Four Sigmatic's new products today, you can get up to 35% off of everything that I just mentioned. I don't want any off. I don't want to buy your stuff, Christina. Thank you very much by using my specific link in the description below. You'll automatically get 20% off plus an additional 15% off at the checkout. More seats and shit on top. By using my specific link. This sale won't last long, so if you're interested in any of these products, please go check them out now and give them a try. I'm not interested.
yeah, great. Yes, yes, yes. We have so much fun. Delicious. Mm, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Mm, for my third and final meal for dinner, I'm going to be making green-colored wraps with an Asian dipping sauce. Jesus. Come I wanted on. to share with you something. Okay, come on, guys. Does this look like human food? Really, does this look like human food? Or does this look like something that you would find in a flower shop? Right? This is something that I would buy my mom for Mother's Day. Okay? This is something that I would give my girlfriend as a birthday present. Maybe I would bring this to a date as a beautiful flower bouquet. That is not food, Christina. Thing a little bit different than a salad, since I typically do salads or zoodles at night. And this is a perfect, colorful alternative. And they're fun to share at any occasion. For this recipe, you're going to need some large collard leaves. And we'll prep them simply by trimming off the back of the stem and cutting off the bottom of the stem, depending on how many people that you're preparing. Is anybody salivating, seeing this leaf? Does anybody here want to eat this? Does this look like food? Preparing for, I would say approximately four to five collard wraps is a good amount to eat, or at least that's how many I can get through. If you have a big family, then definitely prepare for more. Once you have your leaf ready, go ahead and turn it face side down so that you see all the veins on the back and begin to layer on all of the ingredients of your choice. I'm going to be using some purple cabbage, some shredded carrots, some thinly sliced cucumbers, tomatoes, rainbow bell peppers, yellow, red, orange, and green. I'm even going to add in some shredded beets here to give it some. All of this is condiments at best. This is something that you would might have on the side, if at all. None of those things is nourishing. None of those things. Color some mango to give it a little sweetness. Oh, I love mango in these rolls. Yeah, of course you love mango because mango is the only thing in there that is actually somewhat digestible. That's the only thing that gives you sugar again straight away and therefore makes you happy. And if you want a little extra something, something, you can add in some sprouts. Last but not least, we're going to add in some She's so cringy without knowing it, man. Ugh. Sliced avocado on top. Once you have... Yeah, to maybe make some animal fats. All of your ingredients here, you can wrap up your collard leaf by, by first folding up the bottoms and rolling them over the sides, essentially, just like this, and then rolling it up kind of like a burrito. It's a collard wrap burrito, basically. You can always use a toothpick or a string to tie these together to keep, keep them wrapped up a little bit more firmly. You can eat... Honestly, that's so disgusting. That green leaf is so thick. Nobody wants to eat that. Even if you enjoy a salad here and there. Okay, no worries. Nobody would like to eat this thick leaf. You're not a herbivore. Even spread some guacamole inside so that they stick together better. For the sake of keeping this recipe simple, I'm just using fresh veggies here. And uh, we're going to make a dip. But this is exactly what our collard wraps will look like. And they are gorgeous. Yeah, they're gorgeous to look at. They are like flowers. They're not edible. What the shit? And you're gonna eat it like this? No chance. You're gonna put sauce on that shit. 100%. No chance she's gonna eat it like this. There's gonna be a ton of some sort of raw vegan sauce. 100% guaranteed. Imagine the thoughts after this plate. Ah. Oh. Now we're going to be making our Asian dipping sauce, and it is so ah, there it is. <laughs> so easy and fun to make this sauce. Yeah. The exact ingredients are in my recipe app. You can click Absolutely. in the description on the link below, and it'll take you Blender to my app where you can give it a download. I'll be adding into a high-speed blender Blender approximately two large time. tablespoons of sesame tahini, some namashoyu tahini again, and with the soy sauce or whatever that was, sesame sauce. You name it, doesn't even matter. You blend it up and it mimics that umami taste that you would get out of meat. And of course, you're mimicking again the animal fats. Ridiculous. You, the juice of two limes or lemons, a teaspoon, about a half a tablespoon of almond butter, about a half a Almond butter, even more fat. Of course, just vegetable oils. However, animal fat mimicking substance here to make it bearable because nobody wants to eat that thick green leaf. A tablespoon of almond butter, 
And if you want to give it a little kick, you can add in a small slice of raw ginger into this recipe as well. Yeah, Let's because I need more poison. Blend it up until it is completely smooth and creamy. If you want it to be less thick, add a little bit of water or even a little bit more lemon or lime juice. Disgusting. Pour this into your dipping bowl. Pour show me how you eat the whole plate and show me your belly afterwards. And yeah, if I would be into it, show me how you feel on the toilet. Pour this into your dipping bowl of choice and voila, you have a fully raw Asian dipping sauce. How delicious does this look? Now you can... It doesn't look delicious. It looks like flowers. Take your rainbow colored wrap and you can dip each one of these into your Asian dipping sauce. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is complete. Yum. I've been finished. Okay, that is perfect. Notice something. Is it just me? Do you realize that your food just looks like the background? Just like the vegetation that nobody would ever try to eat. I don't see you bending forward on your force and trying to nip off those leaves. You wouldn't because you know that's not your food. However, this here somehow should convince us to be nutritious. It's absolutely ridiculous. You are mentally ill. Finishing my dinners around 7 p.m. as of recent. So around, I would say, 7.30 or so, I'll and have... no more stimulants to kick it off one cup of because now after this meal you feel terrific of course you feel full of energy absolutely fantastic you feel horrible that's the truth and this is why you have to use those stimulants mushroom tea i usually do a mix of chaga and reishi something to calm me down and relax me after the day is <laughs> yeah, done sure. i love these four sigmatic instant packs it's so easy to make you simply just have some boiling water and then you add in one pack of chaga or reishi here you can add in any type of sweetener here that you like i prefer coconut nectar and you have a delicious warm evening mushroom tea why do you do this Face all the time. <laughs> yeah, one of them is enough, believe me. Jesus Christ. Thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. If you've liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. And if you like, uh, I'm gonna make sure to give it a thumbs down. Jesus Christ, what did I just watch? Super cringe fest, man. Ah, uh, cuck face after cuck face. Shaking my hips. Look at me. Wow. Horrible. Guys, I think there was enough vegan YouTube for a day. I can't take it any longer. Really, there was too much. Oh, I'm going to shut it down. Jesus Christ. Remove. Stop it, Christina. You horrible human being. <laughs> uh, 